Okay. Uh, so for those of you that don't work, know me, uh, my name's Will. Um, I'm really big into automation and I like to, I'm just lazy and I like to find shortcuts. Um, so one of the things that I hate doing the most is putting in time. So I was always out for ways to make that easier. Um, I've been playing with this note taker app called Avoma, um, which is just like Fireflies and stuff, but it's a standard note taker app. It goes to the meetings and it gives me these nice AI generated meeting summaries. And once I realized they had um, kind of, uh, it's a bare bones API, I got real excited to see what I could I could automate around it. So um, <clears throat> my workflow is three and a half steps. So the first one, because they don't do webhooks, which would be ideal. Um, I'm just running a query every four hours to find out or to grab any meeting IDs from uh, uh, any meetings meeting IDs I've done in the last four hours. Um, and then once I grab those meeting IDs, I move on to my second stuff. And this is just a, a sub workflow that's running on each of those IDs. Um, I'm grabbing the meeting. And then the next thing I'm doing is I'm just analyzing the domain name of the attendees. Um, and from there, I'm grabbing the markdown formatted uh, meeting summary and then querying manage to find any service tickets, open service and project tickets I have um for that company so we're looking at the context domain and comparing it to the uh, domain from the meeting um from there i'm merging the list and i have this cool ticket processing ticket that i'm updating and what's really nifty about this is when i update it it's um embedding a um a url in in the markdown so what that looks like is I have this ticket. It's my pro time processing ticket that I tell people to never touch. And it'll say, hey, I had a I had a meeting with this person on this date, and then these are all their open service tickets. So if I click on this, it um, triggers a webhook and then calls my last step of my workflow, which will one, just call the ticket number so I can identify it's, if it's a service ticket or project ticket, and then automatically enter in my time with the meeting summary. 